This is no ordinary classic Mercedes. It's an electric Retromod 280 SLC, rescued and lovingly restored in Belgium. We strongly believe that we can build a car that is, uh, to a certain extent, better than the original models. The die-hard petrol heads, some of them hate us. Monso Automobiles specializes in turning Mercedes 107 series cars into no tailpipe emission vehicles for a cleaner future. For us it was very important that, that we stay close to the original car, so we did, did not want to build a Tesla killer. The series includes gems such as the 280 SLC or the 350 SL Sports Coupe. That's definitely our, our aim, that we keep that that vintage classic feel in the car. So for example, the steering wheel, we have upgraded it to electric power steering. It was born from a, from a business idea. I'm an entrepreneur and, and I thought, well, this could be an interesting car to build. And for me, it's the combination of the passion for cars and specifically for Mercedes cars and the um, passion for the, the ongoing energy transition. There is a group of, of people that, that, that think that what we do is, is, is indeed sacrilege and, and uh, that we should not do it. Our society is changing into a complete new direc direction and yeah, what effect that has for old cars. If we want to keep them on the street, re-engineering it into an electric car. The retro-mod process requires a stripped down and patched up body. Every car starts like this, so completely bare shell. The cars will be completely 100% restored. We have the whole car in 3D so that we have every exact measurement and from there we start developing each part that needs to go in there. The thing is that, that these cars are, are, are built for a complete different purpose and a different drivetrain. So um, we start adding new components that actually are not designed for this car. The most complicated stuff is, is fitting everything that we need to have in there. So we have a, a battery pack in front, battery pack in rear. Um, that's the biggest bulk and also the biggest weight that we have to fit in. So we try to keep as much weight on both of the axles. So we use also the original mounting points, for example, of the engine. It's, it's a completely new way of, of constructing. Each of these parts that you see here is custom developed, for example, the shifter, but also yeah, pretty simple things like um, the cables that run underneath the car for the, for the high voltage, but also for the cooling lines. Uh, we use 3D printing to make these flexible parts and then matching this together will make a, um, a fixation that the cables are not hanging in, in there or, or can touch anything. What's the magic? I think it's, it's the combination of um, design and build quality. Schönheit aus dem Windkanal. Harmonisches Styling und eine optimale Technik sind die Merkmale der Mercedes-Benz PKW 280 SL, 350 SL und 450 SL. Diese sportlichen Zweisitzer bieten ein Höchstmaß an Komfort und Sicherheit. And in terms of design, when the car came out, it was deemed to be quite a large car. I think it, it proved itself so much that uh, it was sold for over 18 years. And the best year that the car was sold was in 1986. Mercedes-Benz packt das Problem der Sicherheit an der Wurzel. 
Gnadenlos wird das Material in zahlreichen Tests geprüft. Forschung und wissenschaftlicher Versuch sorgen dafür, dass das Sicherheitssystem ständig erweitert und perfekter wird. So that proves that the design is, is very timeless and it's, it's also starting to grow on, on the current market. A car designed in, in, the, in, in the late 60s is still appealing to public in the late 80s. Yeah, that, that, that's something that, that's pretty unique and, and only a couple of cars can, can say that. Client decides what we what we build, and together with them we design this. In this case, we we regularly sit together, look at fabric samples, and then in the end we combine everything, in terms of the the Alcantara in the the roof, to the to the fabrics and the leathers. So in this car we have a 22 kilowatt charger, which basically means that we can charge the full car in two hours at most uh, high power. Um, but you can also use a normal, normal socket to charge the car. This is a car that you go driving in the morning. Uh, you have a range of about 300 kilometers. The ESLC was put through its paces alongside a Formula 4 car at the Circuit Zolder in Belgium. Things that we test is, is simple range, is simple how the car behaves. Uh, on a track obviously you go more to the, to the limit of a car. I think we, we deliver a complete different driving experience uh, than a, a classic car. Uh, so the, the smell of, of fuel and, and, and oil is something that yeah, we cannot um, add, or that would be strange to add that. And also the sound that a, that a, that a combustion engine makes. So you have to enjoy the fact that this car doesn't make that much sound. So the complete restoration, everything, then our asking price uh, that starts at uh, 169,000, uh, excluding VAT, is, is not high. But obviously, what is value? I think this car on the current marketplace and the growing marketplace in future will keep its value.